to those minutes. If not, we can consider the minutes approved. Uh, next item is the finance report, and in the uh, absence of the village manager, the chair of the finance committee, uh, Councilman Hasselbeck will present the report. Thank you, Mayor. <coughs> uh, the general fund revenue for the month of May total, uh, earnings tax collection for the month of May was $96,600. This was down about 11 percent from May of 2017, uh, which the collections were a little bit over $110,000. Our next collections estimate for 2018 is $2.75 million, and the earnings continues. Earnings tax continues to be the, vill the village's primary source of revenue. Uh, so currently, the uh, earnings tax revenue for 2018 is $1.2 million, which is about $33,000 less than it was. For 2017. Uh, share of local government funds received was not by $5,400. Our budget for the year uh, for the local government fund is $59,000. The revenue collected for a month of May was $239,000, uh, which in the earnings tax estimates represents 43.68% of, of the budget total revenue. Uh, estimates for the year, $4.78 million, of which we've collected not by 50%. Expenses for the month of May were $242,754, which represents about 35% of total expenditures for the uh, budget. Uh, our unencumbered, unencumbered uh, fund balance at the end of May is $5.6 million. That concludes the report. Are there any questions on the finance? I have one question, and, and, and if you can answer this, we can just save it for next month. So I will save it for next month. <laughs> um, the only question I have is, so when we look at the uh, earnings tax collected year to date relative to the total revenue collected year to date, um, earnings tax is about whatever, 43.5%. Total revenue collected is close to 50%, which means we're getting, it seems like there's more of something else coming in. Well. You know the total that, revenue includes real estate tax revenue, right. or hedge funds, yeah, and we there's a little bit of a bubble in the uh, real estate tax revenue which occurred this year. Okay. Um, with the change in the federal tax laws, a lot of people uh, decided to prepay their real estate taxes in December because they were assessed. So as a result, Hamilton County paid out the collections for the entire year to us in when we receive the money back in April. So there is this. Got it. Okay, thanks. Bubble. Thank you. That concludes the report. Any other questions? Not. We move on to the mayor. And I just have a few items I want to mention. Uh, first of all, we got a draft, I think, late last week. We got the final report today. Uh, again, I think. This is a congratulations to both Scott and Kathy Harcourt. Uh, we got the uh, final audit report related to the uh, JEDS uh, with Sycamore Township. And, and just as consistent with all the audit reports, there were no exceptions. Uh, and, you know, I think the audit, auditors would give great reviews, and, and Sycamore Township gives great reviews to Kathy Harcourt. Uh, so I, I just need to recognize, and it, again, it's just a reflection of the quality of the staff that we have in the village. Uh, next item, the next ESC meeting, the Environmental Stewardship Committee, will be Monday, July 23rd, two weeks from this evening, 7 o'clock down in the community room. Uh, next, I want to thank the chief and the entire police department, and especially Officer Alt. Uh, on an excellent bike fair. Um, it is, when you go to these occasions and you see the, the culture in, of your team uh, and putting that on, it, again, is such a great reflection on the village. 
And, you know, your officers are there uh, and they are um, just, it's so clear that they're so happy to be there, happy to be doing things. And our officer, all, again, does a great job putting the whole thing together. So, again, great job. Uh, and then finally, the ice cream social this year, which, which is being uh, run this year by uh, the village staff. Uh, and the village staff, again, is very excited about putting this on. And I think they have a lot of great ideas for it. I think, you know, it, it is going to be something much more than just a typical ice cream social. So please, people, um, if you're viewing this this evening or later on, uh, put August 19th on your agenda. Uh, it is at a different time of the day. It is from 2 to 5 uh, this time rather than the evening. So please come. There's going to be fun activities for everyone. Uh, and I know the police department is, again, very excited about doing this. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to mention, um, we've already had a lot of donations for it, but uh, if council members want to make a donation, uh, they are, the, uh, the donations will be recognized uh, on a poster and possibly even on some t-shirts. Uh, you can make the donations to Amberley Village and forward them, forward them to the chief who is uh, putting the donations together. And that concludes my marriage report. Are there any questions? If not, we'll move on to new business. And I know uh, Councilwoman Conway. Yes, I actually have two items to report in relation to Cincinnati Public Schools and Pleasant Ridge Montessori. Um, first of all, I, I think everyone was invited to an event on June 27th uh, that was being put on by Superintendent uh, Laura Mitchell. It was uh, for all of the council representatives for the, for the agencies, municipalities that are outside the city of Cincinnati. Uh, it was actually very small attendance, uh, two people from Gulf Manor, myself, one person from Cheviot, and then several, two board members and several staff. So it was actually very informal and it ended up being, it was very informative, which is why I wanted to give a short report about it. Um, I really learned a lot about Cincinnati Public and the initiatives they have underway um, to <coughs> ensure that students have a life path when they graduate. They're uh, working a lot on career-based education, networking in the community, uh, connecting in a, in a program form, not just a loose network, students into pipelines into specific fields where there's classroom work and then opportunities for actual work. Um, they're expanding the AP offerings. I mean, it was really quite, quite interesting and informative. I have two items that I'm going to ask Nicole to scan and send out to you all, one of which is a brochure and one of which is a, just a write-up about some talking points they have sent on to uh, the state regarding the state report card uh, suggestions to revise it to make it more accurately reflecting the reality of urban district. Uh, so that that's, was that event. Um, and the second thing, and this is kind of hot off the presses, I received an email today, as did all members of the LSDMC, that uh, Jenny Mao will be leaving PRM as the principal. She has accepted a position in the district office, um, something with recruiting leadership or leadership development. So it is a promotion for her, not a surprise. She's obviously very capable. Uh, so there will be an interim principal, not named yet, uh, for the 2018-19 year. And there's also the assistant principal retired, so there's all, there was already going to be a new assistant principal, not named yet to my knowledge. And the LSDMC takes a very lead role in uh, hiring a new principal, so I have opportunity to participate in that. And that concludes my report. Are there any questions? Any other new business? The one thing I want to mention, uh, Councilwoman uh, K Mine. Um, brought to my attention and that both the city of Cincinnati and Gulf Manor have passed a resolution. It's kind of related to the, the whole thing with the Duke Energy Pipeline, and it's basically a resolution asking the state to uh, become a little bit more proactive in enacting legislation that would reflect some of the experience that we had and the fact that safety is not even considered in this. So I am going to draft uh, a res resolution for Amberley 
and I will bring it forward to our uh, next council meeting in August uh, for your consideration. Any other new business or questions or comments or anything? If not, we can consider the meeting adjourned.